Hi everyone, I'm back again. This is a part two of the annual book sale at my local library. I didn't think I was gonna buy more books, but I ended up doing that because I had to take my nieces and nephew to the book sale. I took one niece and a nephew yesterday, and then today, which is Friday, um, what is the date today? Today is, I think, the 19th. That's right, because it's my brother's birthday. Um, April 19th, I took my other niece um, to the sale. So yesterday was regular prices. So hardbacks were $2. Um, the small hardbacks, I think, were $1. And then everything else is going down $1 to $0.50, cents, $0.25. Cents. Today, it's half price. So all the hardbacks are $1 and then $0.50, cents, $0.25, cents, so on. So um, when I took them yesterday, I didn't really get much. <laughs> I only got one book, believe it or not. And I got this book right here. Um, I didn't, I don't think I saw this when I went in on Wednesday. And for some reason, the uh, volunteer only charged me 50 cents for it, which is great. So it's singing in harmony. And I liked that, um, it has a lot of like, I like the illustrations in here. I'm probably gonna harvest this or tear it up to use because the images, but I don't know, I might scan these first and then go ahead and just, um, you know, use it for junk journals and uh, my collage work. But yeah, as you can see here, the illustrations are just, they're so beautiful. I love this stuff, kind of stuff. So um, yeah, so this is the only book that I actually purchased, but over there by the, um, the exit, they had the free books to grab and they had the um, Reader's Digest um, condensed books, the anthologies. So I only got one and because I had more time to actually look through while my um, niece and nephew were going and looking at books. Um, I picked this one up and this is from 1956. And as you can see, these are the names of the, the titles. And it's in really good condition. It's interesting because whoever owned this had included this in there as well. So um, this I'm not going to tear up. I'm actually going to read it. Um, I actually like reading these. Now, years and years ago, my mom had gotten a bunch of these for my uncle in the Philippines because he, um, he was a judge in um, Naga City, Camarina Sur. And uh, he knew that once he retired, he was going to need to, you know, have something to do. So he was requesting for my mom to always bring back books. Okay. So she, when we told her about these book sales, um, you know, and f she went to one of them and they had all of these, you know, free um, Reader's Digest condensed books. So she went and got a whole bunch of them and then shipped them off to the Philippines. Well, I know that he read them. And then my other uncle, his brother also read them too. So when I was visiting and I stayed for three months, I ended up reading them because I had nothing else to do while I was there. And, you know, there were a ton of them. So that's how I ended up reading them. And then like, oh, you know, it's not bad because you get a taste of like each of the books. Um, so, yeah, this was kind of nostalgic for me or just reminded me of when I stayed there and, you know, read those type of books. So those are the only two that I got yesterday. OK, so today I brought my other niece. Um, because she didn't get the chance and she had to go to the dentist or I'm sorry, the orthodontist to have her braces tightened once again. Um, so oh, I didn't think I was going to get any and I ended up getting a bunch. Um, so the hardbacks, like I said, were $1 and I was kind of joking with uh, my friend Clarissa Caramia about this one book that I saw there that I was like, Oh, I'm not going to pay $2 for it. But if they have it for $1, I may get it. But, you know, I don't really need it because it's it's huge. It's a huge book. Um, yeah, they still had it. <laughs> and I did get it. So let me, well, that's as far as I can zoom out. I'd have to lift up my uh, mount here for you to be able to see the entirety of the book. But there we go. It's The World of Birds. Now, last year, I had given her two um, books on birds because she's a big bird lover. She loves to watch birds. Um, and so this one caught my eye because of the illustrations. So let's move that. I mean, look at those flamingos. Okay. Oh, 
Well, let's move. I need to clear some of this desk off. So we've got that. Okay. Scissors. Move this over a little bit more. Okay. King vultures. Okay. So yeah, I absolutely love the illustrations in this. I am. I, I don't want to tear this up. I actually want to read it because it seems pretty interesting. But um, when was this published? Let's see. This was published in, I don't have my reader, so where is it? I don't see the year. Wow. I'm going to have to look. But this is probably from like the 60s, maybe even the 50s. But it's such a gorgeous book. I don't even care if it doesn't have the dust, the dust jacket. I mean, this is like a really nice coffee table type of book too. So yeah, look at that. And it's pretty intact, you know. There are some pictures. So I think this shows like the migration. Yeah. Mostly or where some of these um, species of birds are found. So yeah, that was the biggest book. Oh yeah, look at that. I just noticed it now. There is a rip there. Um, I think I can fix that. I will go ahead and do something to keep that from splitting even more. So like I said, the biggest and the heaviest book. Oh my God. It was a nightmare trying to haul this around. Um, you know, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I go to like an antique gallery or a used bookstore, sometimes I tend to get like a headache. And I think it's probably from the smell, like the dust from these books. And right now, um, I can feel that I'm getting one from just um, being at the book sale. Um, I don't think they were running the um, AC in that area today because the fact that it actually, we had a cold front that moved in. Yesterday, it was like 84 degrees, so they did have the um, AC running. But today, the temperature, the high today is like 61, and they didn't have it. And yeah, I can feel it, kind of like my sinuses and then like, just the front of my head is like a little, um, a little, oh crap. Hold on one second because I can hear my video it has already finished rendering and I've got to go and turn that off. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I'm back. <laughs> and I got my readers on top of that. Okay. So anyways, I was saying that, yeah, I feel like my sinuses have been like, um, triggered or something. Anyways, let's go ahead with the rest of the books that I did find. So I did get some paperback ones. Um, I only got two. I thought this was interesting. The Grammar of Fantasy, um, an introduction to the art of inventing stories. Am I a writer? Um, I, I wouldn't call myself a writer, but when I was in high school, I did write like a, I would say like a short story. Um, that was like 200 pages, but that was on notebook paper. <laughs> and I had some characters and stuff, but that was like the only time that I ever actually wrote something. Um, I will say that in college, my minor, my actually, I'm sorry, my major was in journalism and my minor was in photography, but I've been toying with the idea of maybe possibly writing something, but I don't know. I probably, I just need some inspiration. So I also picked this one up, the complete writer's guide to heroes and heroines, 16 master archetypes. Okay. Interesting. We'll see if I uh, actually go through it, through with it. All right. Here's another one. This one is called Safe Counsel. Now, it's an old book. Look at that. 922-1934. Somebody must have given this to Bridget, I guess that's the name. And it's Safe Counsel or Practical Eugenics. Isn't that interesting? Um, right here, look at this illustration. This is really interesting. Hold on, let's get that in focus. It says, which will you choose? happiness or misery. <laughs> You're at the fork road. Okay. This was printed in 1924. Now the reason why I picked this one up and I didn't even notice the whole eugenics thing. Okay. Was that it was 
Methods of improving the race, eugenics, marriage. No, yeah. Sterilization of the inf Wow, I did not see this part. Um, the reason why I picked it up is for the illustrations. And then there was a part here about family life. Oh, look at this. Somebody wrote in here, born in, I can't even read where that's at, on the 15th of September, 1924 at 9 p.m. to Mr. and Mrs. Glenn Siegel, a girl. There's the physician, baby weighed 16. No, oh, no, no. This day, the 16th of September, I'm sorry, uh, five pounds and eight ounces and 18 inches. Wow. So somebody gave this to a new mother. But look at that. This is, um, I don't know. I just thought this was so interesting because I opened it up to this part. And then here, like childhood. Let's see if there's a part there. No. Wow. Female sex organs. If every man were straight. <laughs> yeah, look at this. What will become, what will the girl become? Bad literature, study of obedience, flirting, virtue and devotion, fast life, dissipation. Oh, this is hilarious. Look at that. If every man were straight. Oh my God. Um, I was actually going to tear this book up to use for um, my collage stuff, but I don't know. I might read it first and then do that. That's pretty interesting. Or I might scan it. We'll see. Okay. Next book. Five in the family. Why did I pick this one up? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah. Because of the illustrations. So there is, I think it's all about, yeah, this family. Yep. Um, this one is definitely going to get torn up and this was published in, oh, where is it? Some of these don't even have, even with my readers, it's hard to read. 1948, I think. So we got that one. Um, I got this one right here, this little book. It is French English, English French Dictionary. I like, it's so cute because it's just a pocket size. It was the only one that I saw that was like hardback like this and in this um, size. 1941 was when it was published. And yes, I am going to be tearing this book up. This one I have been, I had my eye on. I put it back on the first day that I went treat shop. Um, I wanted it, but I didn't want to spend the $2 on it. So this one has such beautiful illustrations. Uh, this was published in 1954. Look at that. Daily Rumple. <laughs> the puppy who wanted a boy. Aw. So, yeah, these are so cute. So I got that. Another one here. This one is, and my niece was asking me why I got this. So I had to go into story time and tell her. So it's simplified Russian grammar. I took a semester of Russian in college. That was a mistake because I was the only person in my class that did not take Russian in high school. So everybody in the class already knew how to speak some Russian. And I had, I just, I didn't. And the reason why I had signed up for the class is because um, I just wanted something different. I had done three years of Spanish and I wanted to try something different when I was in college. And stupid me signed up for Russian and signed up for French also. And so, um, yeah. This kind of reminds me of when I was in college and maybe it'll help me try to remember some of my Russian. I might tear this one up too. I don't know. We'll see what else we got here. Um, we have this book. Okay. It's a book of the holidays from this one's 1960. So I guess this is about American holidays, I think. 19, it was made in 1958. 
Um, yeah, so here's the contents. So it is. It's American Holidays. And it's just the history. I might have my... Actually, I'm going to probably have my nephew read this. He does like history. So he might be interested in that book. Okay. We're almost to the bottom of the stack here. Homes with Character. Um, now, this one obviously was a school book. And it was in, from 1970. Wow. So this... Why did I get this? Um, I don't know. It just seemed kind of interesting. Like, look at these different types of homes. Okay. New Orleans. Yeah. Family income related to housing costs, space needed for livability. Um, I don't know. I just thought it would be interesting to read. So you can see, wow, look at that air conditioner. And then I guess how utilities are connected to a house. I'm trying to imagine what would this book be for college or for high school? Because that's kind of interesting. Like they, they would teach this like in high school. I would think that this would be like college, but I don't know. Home ec maybe? Maybe. So yeah. I just, I just thought it was interesting. And now we're down to the last book. And this book is America's Vanishing Folkways. Now, um, this I may also let my nephew read. Actually, let me move some of these books because we're getting closer to the camera. And, okay, the stack is getting so high. This is ridiculous. All right, so here we go. These are also like, I guess, folklore. Personal lives, everyday activities, recreation homes, our food and drink. Let's look at our food and drink. 145. Everyday dining. Okay, so like here, for an example, a good Quaker dinner might consist of duck, ham, chicken, beef, pig, tarts, creams, custards, jellies, trifles, fools, floating island, beer, porter, punch, and wine. Hmm. Yeah, I think he would be interested in reading this. Water supply, formal dining. Um, I like this kind of stuff. Home equipment. You know, back in the day, dancing. It's just really interesting stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Tomorrow is um, fill a bag for five bucks, and then Sunday, fill a bag for three bucks, but I'm not going to go because I'm actually going to be going to see um, Wicked, <laughs> the musical. Um, my sister in law was supposed to go and she can't go, but her daughter is going to be able to go. And I'm my sister and her two daughters are going. So they asked me if I wanted to go ahead and take the ticket. And I told them, yes. So that's why I'm not going to go to the, uh, to the book sale again. Plus I don't need any more books. This is, oh my God, more than enough. You know, I still have so many books and it's just, yeah, it's getting out of hand. So, um, Yep, this was part two of the book haul, and I hope you enjoyed it. And as I've said before, support your local library. You know, those are important. I mean, yeah, we can we can order books and read them on Kindle. You know, we can order books on Amazon and stuff. But hey, your taxes, you know, go to these libraries, and those books there are free for you to check out and read. So support them, okay? All right. Everybody have a good weekend. Have a good week. Bye.